So we're going to the gym to get strong. And then what are we doing later? Uh, I'm actually going to make the group virgin pina coladas. And, uh, you know, we'll start there. And then we'll add the booze. Food, archery, more booze. Hey, Chip, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm going to go do my least favorite day at the gym. I'm going to do quad day. And, uh, you ever hit quads? Great. No, I, I'm usually injured yeah, on leg day. Do what are we doing? Are we doing uh, upper or lower body today? We'll see when we get in there, but I, can, I have a hunch. As you can see, Matt and I are hitting a very productive upper body chest back day, baby. Brianna, well, she's able to uh, stay a little healthier on the lower half, so she's training the most. But Matt and I, we both uh, twisted our ankles this morning, so unfortunately, we were only able to train upper body. And uh, we're going to keep it going. You know, you got to get a pump. We're going to go out today. We're going to party. We're going to maybe have some virgin pina coladas that Matt's gonna make us later. In his spare time, he's a bartender for a hobby. So he's gonna make us some virgin pina coladas. No booze, you gotta have a pump when you're out there in the sunshine at the bar. So we're, we're getting it done and in a good mood. It's gonna be an incline, hammer strength, chest press. Real good for uh, that top pump finisher, which is what you want coming out the top of the shirt when you're, uh, you know, Raising that, that bottle to your mouth is a little hot. <laughs> what do you think of this? Excellent. Hot knots work here today. Just really pumping it out. I personally think Matt Matt's pretty small, but that's just me. Oh yeah. That's just tiny guy. Yeah. Tiny guy. Working out by a dumpster is definitely a hard-o move, for sure. <laughs> no better way to get ready for the bars than chest back and some arms. I mean, come on now. So, we're excited. See you guys in the next What's uh, going on here, Chip? Uh, I'm over the gym. She's trashed by the trash. <laughs> That's a trash line. Woo! How you doing, champ? Um, to everyone's surprise, I don't actually drink that much. So when I do, it's a rough day. Drop your best hangover cures in the comments because I could really use them right now. So yeah, we're gonna shoot. It's gonna go phenomenally. And then we're gonna go home and make some margaritas. I thought we were making pina coladas. We're making pina, that's what, we, that's what we said. We're making pina coladas. They're gonna be delicious. I figure if I just start drinking again, then it'll get better. We're here at the range, is this Morley Field? Morley Field, yep. Yeah, for another uh, bow discipline video. Hey, 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 wait, wait, you said, uh, you said yeah. bow discipline. What, bow discipline? You said bow discipline last time. What is just, that? I don't know, but that's what, it's what you said. All right, scratch it. We'll do it again. Say it again. <coughs> Try it again. <sighs> All right. Welcome back. Beautiful day here at Morley Field uh, for a uh, just a, a good segment in the bow discipline. Dude, We're you, doing did, a, you did it again. You said it again. Bow discipline. I'm just going to keep rolling. So we're back with the bow disciples video. Uh, we hit the gym earlier. We are not boozing because we are trying to shoot somewhat straight. Correct. And uh, I'm still working my new release. I need to get some arrows down range before tack to make sure that goes as, as good as possible. Yeah. I don't, that's not it. But uh, you buy a shirt. Yeah. I got my shirt. It's called Station. Spell the touch, but 
I got mine. We're looking pastel -y today. Yeah. Beautiful day. It's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's a perfect day to shoot some arrows, have some fun with friends, mm -hmm. drink some uh, pina coladas. We're yeah. stuck on the pina yeah, coladas. Yeah, has to happen. So we're going to make up. And check this out. I want people to look at this. This is a first gen bow and arrow shop hat right here. I've had this thing since probably the early 2000s and it's even taped. It's, it's broken off. But that's a nice hat. It's OG. Anyway, so keep watching for more bow discipline fun. Oh my gosh. You see, he did it again. Like and subscribe. Hit the website, bowdisciples.com. Pina coladas. Oh, buddy. Is that a lot better? Buddy. This is why he's the man. <laughs> well, I'm the man, but. Ooh, that was a good breakthrough. That was a good break right there, yeah, Chad. Yeah, so I was trying to make sure I don't, you know, punch it anymore. That's my number one focus. Tim Tim right Groover now. will be on your ass if you punch a trigger. I guarantee you. Yeah. I guarantee you. You're breaking very clean. I will I mean, say that. This is nice. Got to give it up to Bruce. Good job, Chip. Ooh, right in the wheelhouse. Yes, he smoked. Smoked a giant buck. Giant buck. 75 incher. Strange looking buck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was a that was a that was a 30 pin at 40. It was the wrong, that was the wrong pin. Good day. Having a lot of fun. Look at this guy. Nice sunglasses. Thank you. They have a fade to them, so when I look this way, okay. they have a lot of tint, but when I look this way, there's not much tint down below. They're um, faded. I think Transitioning. A gradient. Gradient. They're a gradient sunglass, is what they're called. Yeah. Looks a lot better. Let's not call that a mat, though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, I've done it twice, yeah. but I don't know if that's the thing we need to start. I'm already, already the dry fire guy, okay? Let's not make me the trigger punch guy, too. <laughs> oh, jeez, Martha. Decent form. Yeah. I'll show you guys a quick tip, okay? This is just a quick shooting tip. You gotta watch my right arm here, okay? Which gonna, one's that? Right here. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys. When you shoot a shot, if you don't do what I'm about to do, it's incorrect, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do it correct. You gotta draw, and then when you shoot, you have to really just make sure your arm flies back. If it doesn't fly back, Lots of people will be in the comments saying, you didn't pull through, you punch! A lot of people. So I'm just letting you know. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to do it one more time. Here's what you do. You draw. Okay. Here. And then I'm pulling so hard that my arm just flies <laughs> straight back. It's That's perfect form. So if you just, if you go like this, it's wrong. Okay. This, definitely wrong. It has to be all the way to the ground it's it, and that shows people that you're pulling through you're not punching you're not punching it's perfect Whoa. hey your hand your hand didn't fly back near enough Oh, what you were talking about earlier? Yeah, yeah. Let me see it again, because people are gonna people are gonna say you're punching just because your hand's not flying back fast enough. I've so. never heard that technique, though. No, but... watch. Just watch. Yeah, go ahead and just rip your arm back, like hard when you shoot. Yeah, you have to, or else it's it's incorrect. Okay, so we really make that arm fly back. There it is. Yes, that was that was perfect. That was perfect form. It was it was great. I'm telling you, everyone on the That's internet it. will, will think it's perfect now. Attack. Before it was trash, they, oh, were, they were roasting hurt. you. Kinda but 
no. It's in a car. I go, yeah, I got, I got, I got it. And he goes, D and then he goes, can the, can, can my buyer just go walk around the house on his own and have the seller show him the house? I go, no, the sellers aren't going to be there, and I'll, I'll double check with them if that's okay, and then I'll let you know. He just keeps blabbing. I was like, buddy, just, oh. Yeah, that was plate. Plate all day, baby. All day at 100 yards, baby. Kind of sound like Ronnie. My, <laughs> yeah. Ron Stein. No, Ronnie Coleman. Uh oh. Not, no, come on. Wait. Yeah, I hit it. Did you hit the plate? I don't know. It almost sounded, I hit something. sounded like it something. Almost, <laughs> it almost sounded like you guys hit it at the same time, even though she shot five seconds earlier. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> By the time she shoots Mine her takes arrow, a little longer to get. I feel like you could read a book and make a latte while her arrow getting out there to the target. <laughs> you know, she ain't got them laser beams like me. That one sure. I didn't hear. I'm not sure about that one. I think that one. You know that the title, you already know. It's like, she shot at 100 yards, and then it's like the thumbnail of her at the gym. I can almost guarantee you that's how it's <laughs> going to play out. <laughs> I have a feeling YouTube's going to recommend this one. Ooh, look at that form. That looked pretty good, Chip. <laughs> hey, uh, let me just thank my sponsors while we're here. Bow and Arrow Shop, BowDisciples.com, Visser Realty, all my unpaid staff, <laughs> everybody, <laughs> and all my friends and family, and I love everybody, so thank you. Oh, I can get two more of my arrows. Ooh, nicely. What's your name, buddy? Benjamin. Benjamin. Benjamin here. Bow shop guy. New new archer. How are you liking it so far? It's fun. Good. It is fun. It's fun it is sport. Fun. Great. How about you? Personally, I like to be very serious and not have that much fun. That's just me personally, but... Yeah. Not, yeah. not true. Yeah. Don't be like that. Not somebody to... Your life I used to shoot 50, get all dead center, but Ooh, I, oh, I touched the ball. I did it. I touched it. it. You didn't hit it. Yeah, I touched it. Yeah. That counts. It does. Well, I don't know if it counts, but it. You can pin it down. If I pin it down, it counts. Is that? Oh, it's nice. way high. Nice. You got very close. Yeah. Oh, man. Right, last go, Benjamin. You got to put it in there. Oh! oh. <laughs> I thought it was in. Good job, Go buddy. Check them out. Good work. Good we clear? Okay. Don't punch that trigger. I'm punching yeah, dead. Yeah. Yep. That was yeah, not I it. Did, I just did a couple not it. Did you punch the trigger? I don't think so, but I definitely didn't. <laughs> <laughs> How many arrows are you shooting? Three or five? Probably just three. Three. So we're all gonna shoot. My intern is filming right now. Matt and I are gonna both shoot three at a hundred. And then my intern, Evan, is going to shoot three arrows at 100 once we're done. Day and then one, we'll go pull our arrows. And then <laughs> ah, it's time for pina coladas. I hope he never does that again. <laughs> but uh, Hot! We're hot. Here we go. Might have been three for three in the plate right there, baby. Matt draws back at 100 yards. He steadies the pin, and he begins to pull through the shot at 100. And Bagoon! Excellent form. Excellent form from Matt on the tee box. Honestly, you would have thought he had a few pina coladas by now. No, but... I haven't. I haven't. I'm out. Nope. And she draws back. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Rent free in the head right now. She, com she comes to anchor. She slowly begins to add tension with her thumb. She begins to pull with her back. And <laughs> She landed that one very close. It's just going to be a close putt for the paw. It was a beautiful shot. Are you sure you didn't have anything? No, I'm, I'm just a happy guy. Everyone knows I'm happy. I'm just in a good mood. 
Oh! Thanks. Yeah. I wonder if that blew like shit. Anyways, Maybe I was hitting the... I think it might have. All right. Yeah. Here we go. We're uh, That's going to wrap it up at Morley. We're going to go pull these arrows. And uh, and then after that, time for penis, baby. But pina coladas. Pina coladas. Oh, hey. Didn't see you coming to the bar. Today's drink's a pina colada. Uh, <laughs> Keep going. Features frozen pineapple chunks, uh, coconut cream, milk, white rum, uh, ever famous Captain Morgan, a couple limes, uh, no cherries or umbrellas, that foo foo stuff. We don't have time or money for that. I uh, don't get paid enough by Bow Disciples. And uh, a blender. So I'm going to get mixing here and uh, I'll show you what I can come up with. If my math is wrong, don't even bother commenting. I don't care. <laughs> Next, we're looking at eight ounces of rum. That's a full cup. Oof. Here, yeah. just do a little pull. Just, just do a little. Checks out. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Looks like you poured a little more, bud. Accident. Apple. Hey, the ladies like it. Quick tip, quick tip. A lot of people blow it when they cut limes, lemons. Serrated knife, a bread knife, whatever you want to call it. Money. The other one you're just sawing away, mashing it, making lemonade inside the lemon. You get clean cuts with a serrated knife. That, that one's free. Just like your labor on Bow Disciples. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty used to it. Okay. No, oh, Ryder down. This uh, this Cuisinart, my great grandma brought over on the Mayflower. <laughs> it's a little old. We'll see if they can still turn. Here we go. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> my bad. You trying to hit the triple? Here's here's fifth here. Yeah. <laughs> The thing about old appliances, way better than these new these new age stuff you'd see at the TVs. Listen, see, I mean, I gotta be honest. It thing, it thing is cherry. Speaking of cherries, we don't have any. Tender part-time bartender Matt here got us dialed in on the pina coladas. Cheers! So we're gonna give it a one taste. We're gonna sip it one time, and then we're gonna give it a review. One just one. One only one sip. That, that's where you gotta make your decision. Yep, on. just one All sip, right. one taste. Ooh. I got a mustache. Look at that. It's better than my normal one, I'll that's tell you that. It, yeah, that's what it takes for you to get one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this thing is one taste. This thing will put some hair on your chest. It's stiff. It is stiff. It's quite stiff. Um, Might have been that little extra. The flavor really is money, but it is stiff. There's no question. This, it's drink, this drink is not for the faint of heart. No. It could benefit. From a cherry. I, oh, wish, cherry. I wish we had it. One taste. I personally like the drink. I'm gonna put hair in the chest. I can pound a thousand of these. It's really, really good as a summertime vibe. Seven seven? I'll go a little lighter. A little sweet for me. I'm not a big sweet guy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it a a seven one. But it is it is good. I feel like the booze is gonna be nice. Oh yeah. And uh, consistency is good. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Here we are. And I hate to do it, but this is a lengthy video. The bar portion. I think we might cut this thing off right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was funny and enjoyed the shooting and enjoyed the gym and the drinks and the coladas, be sure to subscribe. Do it. Why not? And, and buy a shirt. Oh, hit buy a shirt, motorcycles.com, and get a native archery strap. Which oh, are those are good. I got one coming. It's going to be super nice right now. The release is all loose. I got a strap coming. It's going to be perfect. Not going to lose your release. Yep. It's and it'll keep you quieter when you're hunting. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Is that it? Oh, we're still rolling?
Wow, deputy, deputy.